Hi, today I'm going to tell you how amazing are dragonflies. So, here you see the giant darner, my pet. This, her name is, of course, uh, the mini kite. Yes, she's my pet. She's just flying at the lake, as you might see. See? So, first, we're going to know where do they live. Now, um, you need to catch one of them, of course. They even sat on me one time. So you need to, of course, know where they live to catch them. As you might have guessed, they live on lakes to just lay their eggs and there'll be larvae and pupae and then, you know. And now I'm going to tell you what the, they eat now. Maybe moths? Hmm. Flies? Bumblebees? What? I don't know. Let's see. Answer. It, um, they eat flies, moths, honeybees, bumblebees, mosquitoes, and butterflies, and even other dragonflies. Did you know that the, the dragonfly is the apex predator of the insect kingdom? Wow. And did you know what a apex predator means? It means that they have no enemies that could take down them. So when did dragonflies first appear? One million year old mid image might show us. No, oh my God, it's 300 million years ago. I'm surprised. Oh, the first dragonfly, hey. It's really, really old when humans weren't even there. Who took this picture, actually? Mm. I don't know. And did you know that they were even bigger earlier? Yes, as big as parrots, or maybe even bigger? I don't know. Oh my god, they were as big as crows. Yes, this is the, the giant darner that lives now. It's the largest dragonfly of all. And did you know that what is the biggest dragonfly that lives now? It's of course that giant darner I told you earlier about. And uh, now uh, we're gonna know um, that another fact of course. Did you know that they can fly 360 degrees with facing the same way? Yes. Oh my God, this is really amazing of these apex predators. So are you impressed of these giant donors, dragonflies, or my mini kite? Tell it in the comments. And of course, I am impressed. So I guess uh, you learned a lot today, and bye-bye.